going on? Shaman Dominic K in here, of course, the Dominic K show on fire dash TV radio on fire. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. So it all started when some people, I, I guess I'm going to assume, don't know how to hold their liquor. According to uh, viral video and witnesses, a brawl on the Alabama waterfront began when these white boat boaters attacked a black dock worker. This guy's just doing his job, but this large brawl broke out, and, I mean, it, it's fueled by alcohol and, I guess, adrenaline. Bystanders say that the incident began when the worker tried to clear the dock along the Alabama River so the uh, Harriet Two Riverboat could dock. Now, a group of uh, rowdy, out-of-control boaters refused to move their boat and attack the dock worker when he um, untied the boat to make way for the Harriet uh, that was coming in, right? Harriet, Harriet three. And, and so um, I guess that they didn't think that the rules applied to them. Where, where have we heard that before? Uh, pretty much uh, it was unavoidable that there was going to be some type of uh, um, altercation when these, uh, you know, white folks got off the boat and attacked this this gentleman. So, um, you know, video surfaced online, and uh, folks have seen it. Uh, if you have not, it is it's floating around everywhere. You can check on uh, our Instagram at the Diamond K Show uh, or the On Fire TV Network or Radio On Fire. And the video of the incident showed. What appeared to be a group of white men running toward uh, the boardwalk and, and one by one attacking this worker who is black. Now, the man who was initially attacked by the people, um, I, I just, the video, the, and there's so many angles of the video and, and everything just spiraled from there. Uh, and, and some of the video you can look at, you, you can hear the folks commentating that, uh, it is, uh, something else. It is, it, it is something to see. So city parks and recreation oversees the riverboat attraction. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure they're happy with this, right? It, this is a whole lot of negative publicity. Uh, but the uh, Montgomery riverboat is a popular summertime destination with a riverboat, a park, and amphitheater, a stadium, and more stuff. So um, after this initial attack, several people uh, rushed to the workers' defense. One of them even swimming from the Harriet uh, boat over to the dock to take part in this brawl. Now, officers and, uh, you know, tried to come in and, and help identify the uh, aggressors, uh, but I he, let me say this. Here's what I like about the brawl. And now some of you are going to say, what, what do you mean you like something about this brawl? And I do. I do like something about this brawl, and he, here's what I like. There was a disagreement, clearly. Folks handled it old school. There was a fight. There was a melee. Nobody got shot. Nobody's dead. Everybody, uh, whether they're lumped up or, or not, everybody went home to their family. That's how it's supposed to be, right? Law enforcement gets involved, arrest who they can arrest, all that. But everybody went home to their family after this disagreement. And years later, even the people that got the worst end of it, Going to look back and remember that time of this. Uh, but had they pulled out weapons, then they wouldn't have had that kind of conversation. So fights happen. People have disagreements, and you solve it old school with your hands and maybe a chair. Montgomery police had uh, multiple people in handcuffs by the end of the melee. Uh, there were at least 
three active warrants for people believed to have been involved afterward. Uh, the mayor, uh, Stephen L. Reed, said in a statement on Sunday that the Montgomery Police Department acted swiftly to detain several reckless individuals for attacking a man who was doing his job. He reiterated his response at a news conference on Monday calling the fight an unfortunate incident. He said that police were investigating. And, um, you know, it, it was it was something to see. I tell you what, WWE hasn't had a, a melee that interesting since probably the early 2000s. Uh, it was um, it was something to see. Uh, it, it was something to see. Now, uh, of course, adults are not supposed to act like this. It was inexcus- inexcusable behavior, right? Um, and uh, alcohol, clearly a factor here. Uh, I just can't imagine anyone just disregarding moving their boat two feet so a three-story dinner cruise boat could park in this spot. I mean, why didn't they just move their boat? <laughs> right? This The whole thing could have been avoided. The whole thing could have been avoided. Uh, and, um, I mean, the young man who swam to shore to help uh, security, that was uh, that was something else. Uh, but of course, uh, viral moments with the chair and, uh, you, you know, it, it's all kind of stuff going on. Uh, but the, the brother with the chair, that was, that was interesting. Uh, of course, there is, uh, all kind of memes and, and footage. Uh, I don't have a problem with the brawl from the standpoint of it was a good old fashioned, um, you know, it was, it was good old fashioned uh, disagreement, but the boaters, the, the the white folks that started the whole thing, should have just complied with the security guard. <laughs> comply, and that was you always say, comply, comply. They saw that they were blocking the river boat from docking. They could have saved themselves a beat down, uh, but the privilege was so strong. The privilege in them was so strong that they thought they could just chill on their boat. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you see you see what unity can do? See what unity can do? Back in the day, back in the 50s and 60s, those white folks had attacked the dock worker nine times out of ten. Black folks would have just stood and watched. But um, it is a different day. It is a different day. Um, you know, they, they, what's, that country, what, what's the country song about the, don't do this in the small town or something? Maybe y'all should have did it in, in the small town. Uh, but like I said, unity is uh, is a great thing. Um, I think the white people need to understand something. We are not our grandparents. Uh, we are not our grandparents. This is not 1963. Looks like some people, uh, some people got to learn. Uh, some people got to learn, but, um, I, I got a lot of enjoyment out of watching this good old fashioned Molly Wop. That everybody walked away from, you know, some, some people maybe a little faster than others, uh, but it is what it is. It, it's going to be what it's going to be. Uh, but like I said, a, a lot of uh, viral moments from this three white men from this uh, brawl charged with assault it was a press conference held uh, by the Montgomery Police Department in Alabama. And it was revealed that three white males from this massive river boat brawl uh, that we're, you know, we're speaking of, uh, you know, <laughs> are they thugs? These, these thugs, these thugs are being charged, thankfully. Police uh, say that 13 people were detained as a result of this brawl. 
the, the brawl happened over the weekend. Uh, warrants were issued for three men, 48-year-old Richard Roberts, Alan Todd, and Zachary Shipman were all hit with third-degree assault charges. Uh, Chief Albert made it clear that the police were also speaking with the FBI to see if hate crime charges should be applied to this matter. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about all of that, but it was, um, it was an incident that was sparked by these white boaters attacking the black dock worker without provocation. Big melee, big melee, and uh, you know they they handled they handled their business. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, talk about this. Um, I do not condemn the black people for standing up for this worker. I think that some of y'all look at what happened at, at, at the Capitol, you know, January 6th, and, and y'all kind of get it twisted, right? That don't let Donald Trump gas y'all up to be the next person on the dock. You know what I mean? Like, like chill. Like, this ain't back in the day. Like, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Stay in your lane, stay in your place, protect your face. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at The Diamond K Show, of course, on threads, at The Diamond K Show. Uh, Onfire-TV.com is where you go. You want to get in touch with me, very easy to do that. DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. Just search The Diamond K Show anywhere you get your podcast. Uh, also, onfire-TV.com slash Diamond K to uh, check out the latest from myself.